Supreme Court verdict Nam the Kano shocks Nigerians. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. According to Vanguard, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP Nam the Kano, yesterday said he will not be broken by the last Friday Supreme Court verdict that he must face trial on terrorism or allegations against him by the federal government of Nigeria. Kano's remark concealed with the Eastern Security Network or ESN, the IPOS military wing, issuing a warning to uh, vigilante groups, thugs, and headers in the southeast on the occasion of its third anniversary. The Supreme Court on Friday reversed the decision of the Court of Appeal, the discharging and acquittal of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop Nandi Kano, on the case of treason against him. Niger News reports that the Appeal Court held that although he was illegally brought back to Nigeria from Kenya when he jumped bill, that that development could not have uh, diverted the trial court of the jurisdiction to continue his trial. The court, in a unanimous decision by a five member panel of justice, acknowledged that the federal government acted irresponsibly when it forcefully brought Kano back to the country from Kenya against all known laws. It, however, held that it was not enough to divest the, the trial a court of its jurisdiction to continue with the case. According to the Supreme Court, there is no legislation in the country that stripped the trial court of the jurisdiction to go ahead with Kano's case, despite the illegal action that the federal government took against him. In the judgment that was prepared by Justice Garaba Mohammed, but read by Justice Emmanuel Agam, the Appeals Court held that the remedy open for Kano now was for him to institute a civil action against the government. So the court, however, stated that the federal government must be conscious of its image, both locally and internationally, even as it knocked the trial court for revoking Kano's bill from the, from after he escaped to save his life following the invasion of his home by security agents. So as it is now, you can see that the high public leader Mazen Namdi Kano has accepted the, the Supreme Court verdict that he should, you know, uh, he should uh, continue his trial. That means they are going back to, to the uh, high court for Namdi Kano's trial. And Nigerians have actually reacted to this. They, they've been asking these questions. If the courts acknowledged that the Nigerian government acted illegally and irresponsibly when it forcefully brought the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipob Namdi Kano, back to the country from Kenya. So what is the sanction? So there is no sanction against the federal government for doing that. The Nigerian government in 2021 announced Kano's arrest and his tradition to Nigeria to continue to face trial. He was subsequently arraigned with a blindfold before Binta Enyako, a judge of the Federal High Court in Abuja. Kano is facing charges bordering on treasonable felony instituted against him at the court following years of campaigning for the succession of the Republic of Biafra from Nigeria through IPOP. He was granted bail in April 2017 for health reasons, but flew the country after the military attacked his house in Abia State, killing some persons, and that was what led to his, his parents' death. However, the Appeals Court on Friday forted the rearrest and the extrajudiciary rendition of Kano by the Nigerian government, 
but the court also banned the trial court for revoking Kanu's bail after he fled the country following the invasion of his home by the security agencies. So this is where Nigerians are like in kind of stock. We not understand this kind, you know, uh, uh, judgmental and all that. You said the federal government, they, 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 they were wrong for invading his home. You said they were also wrong, you know, they acted wrongly, you know, the way they brought him back to Nigeria and all that. And you are still saying that this man should continue his trial and all that. So, as it is now, Kano have already accepted, you know, uh, his fate on this. He said he's not broken. He's not broken. So, anybody who feel that the court judgment is going to break him down is just joking. He accepted the, the court judgment and uh, that is it. So, Nigerians are really waiting and uh, to see what is going to be the outcome of this because the, the Supreme Court said they, they have given instructions to the, the high court what to do. But they are yet to, you know, tell us or review these instructions and all that. So, guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.